Have you ever asked yourself, am I a poet or am I a spoken word artist? Did you even know that there was a difference? Listen, in this episode, I'm going to be going over some of the similarities, but also I'm going to dig into some of the things that make them different. But first, the intro. Hey, this is Monica with One Word Productions. In this video, we're going to be discussing the difference between a spoken word artist and a poet. First thing I would like us to do is to define the difference between poetry and spoken word. Like, what's the big difference? What's the big deal? Is there a big deal? What is poetry? Poetry is a piece of literature based on the interplay of words and rhythm. Well, what is spoken word? Spoken word is a poetic performance of words that incorporate tone, diction, cadence, and demonstration. So you kind of get that? So poetry is a group of words that's usually written. Spoken word is the art of performing that poem. So would I say that they're different or would I say that they too have different personalities? Most poets write because they enjoy writing. They enjoy the art of releasing what's on the inside. They speak to you. They're able to draw a, a picture, draw a story with words, paint a story with their words. That is one thing that's similar to a spoken word artist as well. Their job is to paint a picture or to tell a story with the words that they use. One thing that's different with the spoken word artist in this particular area is that a spoken word artist is a bit more concerned or a bit more aware of how their words are flowing, the cadence behind a piece, so that when they are delivering or performing or ministering, whatever you would, whatever adjective you would like to put in there, when they're actually delivering the piece, that they are aware that certain things may catch the audience's attention. A spoken word artist will keep in mind the audience because they know that they're going to perform it later, either at an open mic, on a video, poetry slam. So they're always ready to make sure that they write with power so that they can deliver with power. So a spoken word artist, their mindset is going to be a little bit different, whereas opposed to a poet is really free to express without any hindrances of thinking about somebody else's perception. A poet is going to write based on how they feel how they desire to describe, they're gonna uh, appeal to the audience as well, but for the most part, when it comes to thinking directly about an audience or a congregation or whatever the case, or anybody that's gonna be in front of them, that's more so where the spoken word artist comes into play. So for me, poetry has a bit more rules involved. Let's just take the haiku, for example. A haiku is a, po is a type of poem that has three lines, First line has five syllables, second line has seven syllables, and then we're going to top it off with the third line with five syllables. So five, seven, five, that makes up a haiku. It's very popular. I enjoy some haikus. I, I enjoy poetry, but there are some haikus that really hit me, you know, and I'm like, oh, wow, I get it, you know, and that, that really does something for me. But it's a bit more strict. It's a bit more strict. I can't say ten syllables in the first line, three in the second, and then four in the last one, and say it was a haiku. It's not. It doesn't fit the rules, you know. Spoken word, on the other hand, is more like the wild, emotional child that's very creative, very open, very expressive, and you can't just sit that sucker in a chair and tell them to do their work like you got to give them room to move you guys know what i'm talking about this that that child that's like oh shoot there's no containing this one inside of a five seven and five line this piece has taken on its own personality and it's free and what we do with spoken word is you allow you, you allow yourself to break the rules so to speak you're able to um, rearrange syllables, rearrange thoughts, and then you can start at the end and end at, at the beginning, you know, however which way you desire to do it. There, there aren't any, I said there aren't any rules, but you have less restriction. To me, this is my opinion of what makes them different. To me, that's, that's the biggest thing when it comes to spoken word. You're just open. You're just free to just roam about the country. Um, but just a sidebar, 
You don't decide to be all over the place with your poem, even though it's spoken word. If you can fit a whole Genesis to Revelation in one piece, which I've seen it done, awesome. But if you're talking about cars and a boyfriend or a husband and a wife, you're talking about children, you're talking about food, and you try to fit that all into one, one piece, I'm sure somebody can do it. I'm sure it can be done. It probably has been done. But, eh, who knows? I enjoy poetry. I think those that are able to write poetry just straight out and just sit down and come up with that. They're able to come up with some of the most beautiful descriptive words, words that tap into your emotions, words that are able to transport you from where your current situation is over into somebody else's situation. I think that poets have the ability to paint with words. You know, they, they, they're, they're able to create such colorful, they're able to take a word palette and create masterpieces. And I think that is awesome. So congratulations or props to you if you are a poet, right? And you've noticed that through this particular video. Uh, so to me, poets are beautiful. Poems are beautiful. Poetry is beautiful. Spoken word is also beautiful, but spoken word is beauty with attitude. Tell them how you feel. Tell them how you really feel. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> there's a strong chance that you operate in both the poetry anointing and the spoken word anointing for my, for my church folk out there. Um, there's a very strong possibility that there are some pieces that come out of you that you aren't going to perform. Um, that you aren't concerned about demonstrating or ministering or putting that attitude behind. There are some pieces that come up from out of us and they are just for us. And that is perfectly fine. Um, and there are times when you may write and you know that this is supposed to be delivered somewhere else. Um, it's perfectly fine. If you find that you operate in both of them, celebrate both of them. Don't try to put yourself in the box to say I'm one or the, or the other, you know? Celebrate that. Celebrate your differences. Celebrate the similarities between the two. Bring them all together and just be great at what God has given you to do. You know what I'm saying? Well, listen, in the comments, if you can, go ahead and tell me which one you feel more called to. Which one do you lean more towards? Are you more of a poet or are you more of a spoken word artist? If you are either of the two and you have any videos online go ahead and drop a link in the comment as well i would like to check them out but i'm sure there's some other people that would like to find out who you are and what you have to say as well until next time